All right, so today we're going to talk about solving equations using addition and subtraction. Uh, in order to do that first, we know, need to know the addition property of equality. So the addition property of equality states that if I have a number 15, it's obviously equal to itself 15. But if I add a number to each side, let's say 3, so I'll add a 3 to the left side of the equation, and I'll add a 3 to the right side of the equation. What that tells me is I have 18 is still equal to 18. And that's going to work with anything. If I have 7 is obviously equal to 7, and then I add a negative 1 to each side, to the left side and to the right side, I'm going to get 6 on both sides because that addition property of equality holds true. I can add the same number to both sides and get the same um, number on each side, keeping that equal sign true. That's what's important is that we keep that equal sign the same. So let's look at our uh, first example here. What if we had m minus 48 equals 29? We wanted to solve for m. We wanted to figure out what m is. Well, what we can do knowing that addition property of equality, we can add the 48 to both sides. And what's that gonna, what that's going to do is it's going to isolate our variable m. Because if I take negative 48 plus 48, I get 0, so I'll have m on the left side, and on the right side I get 29 plus 48, which is 77. So therefore my answer is 77. If I look at another example, if we had 21 plus q equals negative 18, again I want to isolate that q, so I'm going <coughs> to Excuse me, I'm going to add negative 21 to both sides. So 21 plus negative 21 cancels out. I get Q equal to negative 18 plus negative 21 is going to give me negative 39. So therefore, Q is equal to negative 39. So of course, you should know that adding negative 21 is the same as um, subtracting 21, so therefore we see the subtraction property of equality also works. If I subtract the same number from both sides, I'm going to get the same um, value on both sides. So if I had 142 plus D equals 97, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 142 from each side. This is going to cross out, and I'll get D is equal to 97 minus 142, which is negative 45. Now let's say we had g plus 3 fourths equals negative 1 eighth. We wanted to solve for g. What we would do is we would subtract 3 fourths from both sides. And we'd get g equals negative one eighth minus three fourths. The problem is that those two don't have the same denominator, so we can't subtract them um, outright. But what we can do is we can take this one and multiply it both top and bottom by two, because that's the same as multiplying by one. And if we do that, it's going to give me a denominator equal to eight. If I have the same denominator for both fractions, then I'm allowed to add or subtract them. So if I have g equals negative 1 eighth minus, remember 3 fourths is going to be equivalent to 6 over 8. So now I have negative 1 over 8 minus 6 over 8. It's going to give me negative 7 over 8 for my answer g. 
All right, so let's say we had this problem, a number increased by 5 is equal to 42, find the number. Well, we know that a number n is, if it's increased by 5, then it's equal to 42. So we'll write it as an equation. Then we can isolate that variable n by subtracting 5 from both sides. Then the n is by itself on the left, is equal to 42 minus 5 which is 37. So we see that n is equal to 37. 